Hey, what's up? It's Duran. Today I'm going to show you guys the basics of iMovie 11. I think this is a superb program. A lot of people compare it to Windows Movie Maker, but it does a lot more and it's a lot more stable. So today I'm going to show you guys the some of the features that this program that this program offers, and I'm going to show you how to do a quick, short, and kind of professional video in iMovie 11. So first off, I just want to show you guys the display. Usually, when you download it for the first time, it is like this but you can invert the two parts uh, with the button right here, the two arrows. I just prefer it like this, I find it more convenient. So here is where you have um, your your clips, where you have your videos stored. And here is where you start working on your project. Finally here is where you can see your video when you play it. So I'm going to show you guys how to just do a quick cl clip over a Call of Duty clip in Modern Warfare 2. So basically what you want to do is create a new project. You do that by pressing Command N and here you have different options. I'm just going to do a really simple one so I'm just going to name my new project Modern Warfare 2 Clip and these usually are always good. Uh, you want to keep it in 30 FPS and keep it widescreen and uh, don't automatically add cross dissolve. So you want to create your project and here it's just going to create a new project. And of course, for those who don't know iMovie, you never have to save. It saves automatically in your computer. There are no, like, here, you don't see any save or save as. It's all always stored. So to import a clip, you just have to go and import movies, and you select any file in your computer. I'm not going to do it right now, because uh, I already did it to save some time. But you simply have to select one and press import. Usually, the import is the longest part of doing a video. It takes... Depends, of course, on the length of the video and if it's HD or not, but it takes a good while. And uh, surprisingly, the, the the moment that your computer lags the most is not when you import uh, at first or when you render. It's actually when it's generating the thumbnails. So you're going to see that when you import a video, uh, you, it's gonna, going to import it, but after it's going to create the thumbnails. What are the thumbnails? The thumbnails are the, the pictures that are in every fragment of the video show you guys show you uh, at what what is in that part of the video. So here you see the leaderboard, here you see the final fill cam, here you see the clip. So those are all the different thumbnails. You can change the size of the thumbnails as you desire right here in the middle left. So basically if we want to start a clip you just gotta select the part that you want. Let's say I just want the final fill cam. So I'm just gonna select here and extend this box and simply what you have to do is drag it in your workplace. So I call this the workplace. And if you want to play your video in the workplace, just press space. It's as simple as that. So first off, let's start by putting a title. Title, you just have to go in T here on the right side. And there's many different uh, sorts of kind of titles. You have some some with animation, some um, less complicated, some with flowers, some like Star Wars. So I'm just going to take a simple one that goes, comes from both sides. And I got to choose the background. So I am going to choose, let's just choose a plain black background. And here I'm going to say Modern for a 2 clip. Then you press done. So here you have your two things. So first off, if you want to uh, shorten the clip or put it longer because when you select the title it automatically puts it at four seconds double click on it and here you will have your small box and you just put the amount of seconds that you want let's say I wanted three seconds I just want it shorter so here it's three seconds now if you want to change the writing of model for a two clip because it comes originally with uh, with the title you simply have to press on the small blue rectangle over your black uh, background and press on show funds. Here you do not have a lot of options. You can of course try getting more in uh, system fund panel but we won't be talking about that. Uh, here you have all these so I'm just gonna select maybe uh, more calm and maybe I'm gonna select red and here I'm gonna select nine. You can also select the style and the alignment. So that you press done. Let's just watch that. It does a nice effect to the to the text and it's not like just a plain text. After that, if you want to just add a bit more professionalism and make your video uh, look better, you got, just got to go in here, it's the before last kind of square, 
and you want to choose a transition. Basically, what a transition does is, as it says, it's a transition between both clips so that it doesn't like, it's not rough. It's not like hard on the eyes when you watch it. So I'm just going to select, uh, I don't know, fight, uh, no, cross the cell, which is the simplest one. I'm just going to insert it between both clips. And I'm just going to play it and you see it's smooth. So if you want to change the length of the of the transition, you have to also have to double clip. After that, if you want to adjust the volume of your clip, for example, if your clip is too loud, simply have to double click on it. Here you have a bunch of, of, of options that I'll show you in future videos. But you have to go in audio, and here you have volume at the top. You simply have to select it. You can put it up to 500% or put it at 0%. Often, uh, if you want to put music, I suggest you to put it, I don't know, maybe between 10 and 20. It's a good thing. So all these options, I'm going to talk about them in future videos. Then you want to press done. And here you have your your monitor for a two clip with a nice transition and you have the actual clip. So there's one last thing that you got to do, export your videos. For, so for those who do not really know these kind of programs, basically your project is not done right here. Basically. You just put different things together, but now you have to export it. What basically exporting does is that it puts all these three things together, the title, the transition, and the clip. It all puts them together to form one video. I see it's really simply going to share and export. And we do not export using QuickTime. It's really more complicated. Just go the, go the easy way. Here you decide where you want to put it. I'm just going to put it on the desktop. And here you, see, you choose your size. It really depends of on what support you want to view it. If it's YouTube, try going HD 720p or large. If it's just for your iPod, but medium, it's really easy to see uh, which format is the best for you. So uh, you just have to click exports, export. That is all guys. I think I said about everything that is really basic about the program. If you want to see more, simply press the like button and it will encourage me to do more. Thanks guys for watching. Have a nice day.